human evolution from Australopithecus to contemporary human beings. Approximately six million years ago, the Earth underwent a significant temperature rise and the animals that habited within it commenced a slow evolution in order to adapt themselves to these new conditions. We don't know for certain when, how or where, but at a given point, the first hominids appeared. The ancestors of the first men ever. Scientists called humanization the changes that primates experienced until they became human beings. This slow evolution made these primates stop being quadrupeds and turned into bipeds. This means that they went from walking on four limbs to just walking on two hind legs. So they changed their point of view. They started seeing everything from a higher perspective. Their brain was also developed. As you can see, it's got bigger and bigger and they became much more intelligent. As time went on, they developed the capacity to communicate and improved until reaching the apparition of languages, with which they transmitted their knowledge throughout generations. They created tools and techniques, and with them, they were able to dominate the world. At some point during this whole evolution, the first human beings appeared. Scientists have created many classifications for the different hominids that existed. Let's get to know the most important ones. Australopithecus, Homo habilis, Homo erectus, Homo sapiens neanderthalensis, and Homo sapiens sapiens. The Australopithecus is considered the first hominid and is situated between great primates and human beings. It was very small. It only measured one meter, 10 centimeters, and weighed 40 kilograms. It used tools like sticks and stones and lived in Africa three and a half million years ago and disappeared two and a half million years ago. Homo habilis is considered to be the first human being. It's constructed tools in a conscious manner and they talk to each other. <laughs> or they grunted at each other. We can't know. It's measured 1 meter 59 centimeters and weighed 50 kilograms. It's lived in Africa 2,300,000 years ago and disappeared 1,800,000 years ago. The Homo erectus mastered stone carving and made arms to hunt. It discovered fire and colonized Europe and Asia. It measured 1 meter 70 centimeters and weighed 60 kilograms. It lived 1,009,000 years ago and disappeared 400,000 years ago. Homo sapiens neanderthalensis first appeared in the Middle East, but also reached Europe. It measured 1 meter 65 centimeters and weighed 80 kilograms. They were the first ones to bury the dead and would make specialized tools like spears and axes to hunt. <laughs> it's lived 150,000 years ago and disappeared 35,000 years ago. The Homo sapiens sapiens lived 120,000 years ago. It's measured 1 meter 70 centimeters and weighed 70 kilos. Its physical appearance and brain were the same as a contemporary human being and colonized America and Oceania. It was the first artist hominid and left behind samples of their art, like these cave paintings you can see in the images. Evolution and the origin of contemporary human being has arisen many debates and discussions. 
we recommend you investigate more about this subject so you reflect on it and bring up your own conclusions.